Hello, you are welcome to find the value of x in this nice exponential equation. And what is given here, which is 16 raised to the power x plus 44 raised to the power x equals to 121 raised to the power x. Here, let's divide through by 16 raised to the power x. And this becomes 16 raised to the power x over 16 raised to the power x then plus 44 raised to the power x over 16 raised to the power x equals to 121 raised to the power x over 16 raised to the power x. Then from here, this we cancel out. And this will become 1. So we have 1 plus here. When we apply the law of indices from a raised to power n over b raised to power n, this will become a over b then all raised to power n. So here, this will give us 1 plus 44 over 16 all raised to power x then equals to same here we have 121 over 16 then all raised to power x then in the next step we can reduce this that is 44 over 16 when we divide by 4 this will give us 11 then over 4 here and also here, 121 over 16 here, we can write 121 as 11 square, then over 16 here as 4 square. And here, which can be written from this law of indices as 11 over 4 or square. Now, by the time we write what we have here, and this will become 1 plus. 11 over 4 all raised to power x now equals to 11 over 4 all square then all raised to power x then from here applying the law of indices when we have a raised to power m raised to power n which is equal to a raised to power m n which can also be written as a raised to power n raised to power n. Here, it means here that we can interchange this power and this becomes 1 plus 11 over 4 all raised to power x then equals to 11 over 4 all raised to power x then all squared. Then here we have 11 over 4 to power x common so let a letter u so let u be equal to 11 over 4 or raised to power x then from here we can write this in terms of u now and we have 1 plus u is equal to u square then now when we bring everything to one side and form a quadratic equation, this becomes u squared then minus u minus 1 now equals to 0 from here. Then solving this quadratic equation using the quadratic formula, u equals to minus d plus or minus square root of d square minus 4ac over 2 a and here a is equal to 1 b is equal to minus 1 then c equals to minus 1 as well then here we have u now become minus minus 1 plus or minus square root of minus 1 square then minus 4 times 1 times minus 1 then all over 2 times 1 then when we solve this, we have u now equals to 1 plus or minus square root of, here we have 
have 1, then plus 4 over 2. Then here, this gives us u now equals to 1 plus or minus root 5 over 2. That is, from here, we have two possible cases for u. That is, u equals to 1 plus root 5 over 2. And also, we have u equals to 1 minus root 5, then over 2. Then, let's recall that we represented u as 11 over 4 all raised to power x. Then it implies here that we have 11 over 4 all raised to power x now equals to 1 plus root 5 over 2. And on this side as well, this will become 11 over 4 raised to power x equals to 1 minus root 5 over 2. Then when we compare this, side is positive, this side is also positive, this side is positive, this side is negative. So here will be accepted and here we have no resolutions, so here will be rejected. Then from here, when we solve for x here, and take the log on both sides and this gives us log. 11 over 4 raised to power x then equals to here we have log into bracket 1 plus root 5 over 2 then from here we can apply the power log logarithm so we have log a raised to power b so this is equals to b log a and applying this from here x come back here we have x log into bracket 11 over 4 then equals to log into bracket 1 plus root 5 over 2 <coughs> then from here we can divide both sides by log 11 over 4 so we have log into bracket 11 over 4 then divide by also log into bracket 11 over 4 and here this will cancel out and we are left with x which is equals to on this side when we have log a over b this can be separated as log a minus log b so applying this here we can separate this as log into bracket 1 plus root 5 then minus log 2 then divided by here we have also when we separate this as also log 11 minus log 4 and uh, from here <coughs> log 4 can be simplified as log 2 square that is this power also can come to the back and we have 2 log 2. Then this now can be written as x equals to log into bracket 1 plus root 5 then minus log 2 then over here we have log 11 then minus 2 log 2. Then here it implies that if we want to put it in decimal, log 1 plus root 5 here gives us 0 0.551, then minus log 2, that is 0 0.301, then over here we have log 11 as 1.5. 4 then minus 2 times log 2 that 2 times 0 0.301 then which can be written as x equals to here we have 0 
0.51 minus 0.301 and here give us 0.209 then divided by here we have 1.04 then minus here give us 0.602 then we have 0 0.4 so when we divide from here, we have 0 0.209 divided by 0 0.438 and that gives us 0 0.4. So we have x now equals to 0 0.4771 from here. And then, okay, this is 4772. And which should be an approximate uh, solution to this given problem. And thank you for joining us. Don't forget the steps. Subscribe to my channel, share this video, give it a thumbs up, and see you next class. Bye for now.